Hey there, welcome back. In this Photoshop tutorial, I want to show you how to create um, reflections on glass and how to actually, well, just create the glass. And I'm going to use these images for uh, for this tutorial. I'm going to show the end result. So this is the uh, image with the reflection and with the windshield created. And this is the image without it. And this is the image with it. I'm going to show how to how to make this. I had this image, which was the original uh, stock image that I used and what I wanted to do, uh, to do is remove this uh, background and have something else there so what I did is I got the pen tool and I traced the path around there and um, I deleted the original background and then I replaced uh, this I tried a couple of backgrounds and this is the one that I like the most but if you take a look at it right now it looks really fake it's flat uh, it doesn't seem like there's nothing here um, you can easily tell that there's no glass here. So what I did is I wanted to create uh, one myself. And in order to make uh, things realistic when you make glass or uh, shiny surfaces is reflections. You can actually cle uh, clearly see it right here you have some reflections from uh, the original background. And in order to make the windshield uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that. What I did is I just um, created a new document under my original image and I got the you can use the lasso tool a polygonal, uh, polygonal lasso tool I'm gonna use the polygonal lasso tool and just trace a selection like this remember I'm under uh, the original image of this car and I'm gonna trace a selection like this and now I will use this selection as my layer mask so I'm going to select and I'm gonna save the selection and I'm, I'm gonna name it uh, windshield and I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna deselect with Control Command D and now what I will do is grab my or my background here, this uh, city over here and I'm gonna duplicate it with Control Command J and I'm gonna drag it on top of this new layer which uh, actually we don't need it and now I'm gonna create a layer mask and I'm going to select load selection and I'm gonna select my windshield selection which I just saved and I'm going to click OK and if I fill this with black right now uh, what I will do is just um, fill this with black nothing uh, happened um, well actually if you deactivate the rest of the layers you can see what happens so I need the inverted selection so I have to press Control command I now to invert the layer mask and what I have to do now is unlock this uh, layer mask from the layer and now I can move this around freely like this. And this will be my reflection over here. What I will do is flip it horizontally. So I'm going to press Control Command T to load the free transform. And I'm going to uh, flip it uh, vertically. So I just want to have it upside down. And I will make it a bit smaller. And if you just leave it like that and drop the opacity to like, let's say, 15%, you can start to see that we already have something there that uh, it's it works as a, as a reflection but we can distort it so I'm gonna low, um, rise the opacity again so I can see it better and I'm gonna press Control command T again right click and choose warp and I'm just gonna warp it a bit um, think of it uh, about the shape of the windshield it's curved so you wanna distort this a bit to follow the curvature of the of the windshield and just make some uh, distortions like like this and I'm gonna click OK now I will press enter to accept the change and I'm gonna drop the opacity back to let's say 15% or, or 20% um, the opacity value here depends on the background that you have um, this is a kind of busy background so it's not visible if you increase the opacity to like 20% it's not really that visible but if you have like a clear sky uh, for example let me change the background so you can see it's this opacity is too high for this uh, background so it depends on your background and right now uh, it looks good but uh, what we can also do is use layer styles to make it look a bit better and I'm gonna double click here and go into the layer styles we could add um, a color overlay and use a uh, bluish color to tint this windshield a bit and use the color blend mode and then just uh, try opacities uh, one thing that um, 
uh, you should keep in mind is that if you use the fill instead of the opacity, uh, you will not affect the opacity of the layer styles. In other words, if you set the fill to 20 and leave the opacity to 100, when you use the layer styles, uh, you can use higher opacities here. So for 100% will be a, a lot more visible. Otherwise, if you leave the opacity here to 100% and drop the opacity instead of the fill, this, even though it's at 100%, it will actually be visible at 20% because the opacity also affects layer styles. So I'm going to leave the uh, opacity here to, let's say, 50%. I don't want to have it that much tint on my image there. I could also use gradient overlays. Um, let's leave it on normal so we can see it better and increase the opacity to 100%. And let's move it around and see maybe the reflected would look nice on an angle like this. I just want to darken a bit the sides of the windshield like that and change the blend mode to soft light maybe or overlay and drop the opacity a bit or use uh, black to transparent if you want. Uh, maybe that looks nice. You can even use uh, inner shadow to add some shadows around the edges there, but don't make them too visible. We just want a slight effect there. And that's it. We have the windshield and the reflection. Now, uh, the bottom part over here, you can you can kind of tell that the colors are not matching because the original background was very bright here. Um, so you have to choose your new background carefully. But I think it looks a lot better than without this, just like that. So before and after. And that's pretty much it. Um, this works great for windows, for windshields and uh, that kind of things. Uh, just uh, flip the image upside down and then drop the opacity and and there you have it. I just dropped the opacity there. Let's leave the fill to 15. Okay, so I uh, hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next tutorial.